Uh, I personally am very concerned about social justice and climate justice and I wanted to get more background information and also to know um, how I can make a difference uh, and how I can contribute to that. I think we all see and also the youth sees um, the current state of the world that we live in and we see many big challenges like climate change, food security, food insecurity and we all have the urge that we want to do something about this and our students um, will develop the, the knowledge and the skills but also the confidence in, in our study program to understand these problems, understand these issues and also to come up with uh, local solutions. Well, there's a lot you can do with the studies. Uh, it's um, yeah, very diverse, you get insights in very different fields. But uh, some examples could be you could work for big international NGOs such as Amnesty International or International Red Cross. But you could also be a consultant for some companies to improve sustainable. Well, actually, you can work everywhere around the world um, with, this, uh, with IDM. Uh, we see students who get jobs in uh, the government sector. Uh, local government, national government, but also NGOs uh, or companies. Students sometimes set up their own company and that's in the, in the area of um, sustainable agriculture, fair trade, um, women empowerment. Yes, um, there are two internship planned within the studies. It's, uh, in the second year there's one for three months and then in the third year there's one for half a year. Um, and basically, yeah, the, the school, VHL, and all the lecturers, they have very big international networks. So it's aiming at going internationally, um, but you can also do it in the Netherlands or yeah, in any place where you want to go. I, for example, did my second year internship in Norway, but other people went to Tunisia or um, yeah, to Greece. Some stayed in the Netherlands, some did it online. It's uh, very diverse and also the field. Some, uh, like I, for myself, I worked in an NGO, but um, I know from someone in my class who worked on a vineyard in um, in Spain. So it's very you can do a lot, and also it's also really nice you can like set your own priorities and your own path and kind of focus on the topics that you personally are very um, interested in. Uh, sometimes for private or more uh, other companies, um, and then in the different areas of food security. Uh, women empowerment, gender equality, uh, sustainable agriculture, um, disaster risk management, all these different type of areas. There's a lot of ways. Um, generally spoken, all the lecturers are open uh, in supporting you. There's a very personal um, relationship with the students and the lecturers. Um, also, we usually have modules and groups, so you always get support from fellow students as well. And then there are some um, students from years, uh, from higher years that you can always ask. And there are also some tutoring lessons that you can follow by them. All students get um, assigned a mentor uh, where they can go to for any help that they need. Uh, of course, they also have their peers they can, uh, they can turn to. They have a student counselor at school, but also all our lecturers are, I think, very approachable. We have a lot of contact uh, one on ones in students, so normally the students know uh, to find uh, people if they need so. For me personally, social justice is one of the biggest drivers, and I think that's a topic that can be connected to any theoretical class that we have to any practical um, commission, for example, or other projects that we run. And uh, I always have my personal focus on that. And um, I think it's also very important um, to consider that it's not only about one topic, but then it's very intersectional. So there are like all of the issues that you're looking at in the, in the lessons, in the classes, in the practical um, projects also are very interlinked. And um, that's something I really uh, realized when I started studying that you can't just focus on one thing but it's like the whole picture as one. I think the most interesting part of the study is the, the, the practice part, so the internships, if students go on internship, uh, but also working with real-life commissioners, I think that's a very relevant part of our program as we see a lot of things happening in classes and people can tell and know what to do. Um, in certain situations, but if you see students really being active in the work field and uh, working with real people uh, outside school, uh, that's when you really see how people, uh, that they learn, that they see how 
complicated things can be, but also that they learn and are convinced that they now actually know how to deal with certain situations. I would love to be part of a community of people that strive for a sustainable future and that contribute to a development, to a sustainable development in their own way and with what they can give. And I would love to be part of that. Uh, if you want to get the opportunity to explore the world, both within, from within the class as, as outside the class, and you really want to contribute to well, making this world fair, just, more sustainable, uh, then IDM is really the place to be for you.